Welcome to the volunteer orientation video for traumans.org, presented to you by the Rosetta Foundation. What we will cover in this video and in following videos, how to register for a new account, how to update your profile, how to sign up for task stream notification emails so that they will alert you when new projects are uploaded into our portal, how to find a project to translate, about these things called tags and why we need them and how they help us, how to claim a task, and then how to download the document, and finally, when everything is complete, how to upload the document. All right, so for this video today, we will just be covering how to register and what it is you need, a valid email address and a password, hopefully one that you can remember. If the other option is that if you have Gmail or a Google account, Yahoo or AOL, um, there are buttons that we will go to in a second, I'll show you, where you can just click on it and you can use those account details to register and to sign in to traumans.org. It's really as simple as that. Okay, so let's head over to traumans.org and see what this is about. So, here, you want, when you enter traumans.org up above, click on register, and this is what I mean when there's Google, Yahoo, or AOL. So you can simply do it that way. The other option is you can manually type in your email account address. Oops. All right, and then you would just click register. Since I already have an account, it's letting me know that, and I just need to log in. So it takes me to a page that is really similar, and in, in the future, um, this is exactly what it will look like. In case you do forget your password, the reset password button is a lifesaver. So let's try this again. Okay, and then log in. Now, when you log in for the first time, this is not the screen that you will see. You will actually be taken to your profile page. And it will provide, take some information that you may have provided. Um, so here it has Alicia Assini, which is um, from my email account. But then native language, secondary languages, biography, any of your personal details, um, you'll need to update. And so what you want to do is go to the upper right corner, edit profile details. And here it takes you to um, a web page where there's actually a lot of information you can fill in. Um, really, none of this is public, except for your public display name. So I will change my, my display name to AAA. Um, I've already set my native language as English, United States. And then you can also add secondary languages. So if I were a translator or a proofreader, I could be proofreading things from Italian to English, um, from Spanish to English. And you can add as many as you'd like. You can write a little biography um, about yourself. And then over on the right-hand column, feel free to fill in as much information as you'd like. This is secure. No one will, else will have access to it. Um, it, it would be really fun, though, if you filled in your country. It's really nice to be able to see and to kind of get reports on where, where all of our volunteers are translating from. So, and probably the most important on this would be to make sure you're happy with your display name and also to set your native language, because um, that's how our system will help match you with projects that tailor themselves to you. All right, and that's it for this video. Um, Thank you, and we'll be going on to the next one.